Ooh, LD5 against LD5. Oh wait, it's a Leona user. We always win against Leona, okay? Trash unit. Why are you using a bad unit? I just don't get it. So who do I kill first? I'm gonna kill Josephine because usually she has one quick damage slot four, so she won't be as tanky as other traditional support unit, I would say. And she's gone. And the other things, oh, what are they gonna do? Oh, I guess that works. <laughs> oh, she's not even stopping Cassandra. Ignore defense, baby. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Leona, garbage unit, guys. Unbelievable. Buff that thing, please. Hey, uh, hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we are on Zach's account, and I'm trying out the Dark Cassandra on a different style of play. Because today we are playing on a Bruiser account. We have Pontos, we have Julianne, we also have Ragdoll. So it's going to be totally different from playing on a Cleaver's account. And I'm not sure if Dark Cassandra is going to provide any value in this account. There's also a Dark Ezio, but because he's a very niche unit, it's going to be a bit harder to use him properly in any fight at all. And do you know that? Even though unit like Vert or Kinky or Douglas, they can't counter Ezio because his attack cannot be counter. But the outside counter, like counter from Wind Monkey King or counter from the Water Holy Berry can still work against him. So that's kind of sad. <laughs> that is, I don't know, man. That is just kind of sad to me. Okay. Oh, we have a Kinky over here. Oh, but this is... This is bad. Oh my god, this is just bad. I don't like this at all. So if you use the Dark Ezio to hit a Kinky, the Kinky will not counter you. But if there's a Water Holy Berry, there's a Wind Monkey King on the other team, then those units, they will counter you. And I think we definitely have a lot of problem here. Oh my god. Oh, we are so dead. <laughs> we are so dead right here. So I'm not very good at playing on Bruiser account like this. I'm just not very good at playing on account that's not my own, okay? Actually, I'm not even good at playing my own account. So that is already a problem. Wow. Nothing happened. <laughs> Vert? Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, never mind. Oh, my God. My Vert is absolutely amazing. We're not, we're not getting out of this, right? Yep, we're not getting out of this. There, there, there's just no way. Can I just pick Leo? Oh, I can pick. What are you doing, Zach? Oh, what is his speed? The fastest Leo that exists doesn't even have max crit rate. <laughs> Zach is just wonderful, okay? What is the speed? Oh my god. The speed tuning on this account. <laughs> I hate roasting people, okay? I, I, I hate going on a cow and complain about the rune quality and all the other, all the stuff, but. So the choices, guys. Ah, I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> if you have a Bover, okay, make sure that it's like one, two speed faster than Molong, so you can always kill, and you will have an amazing time. I promise you. I go with HP lead. Yeah, I think HP lead is better for this situation. We don't have healing. We only have to kill one enemy target. That is going to be the Dominic, and we will have a pretty good time. But I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I'm gonna buff this. So my entire team will hopefully... Oh, the violent bill. What if I get one shot? Oh, that's pretty good. Now if Molong or, or my Ragdoll take a turn, we kill the Dominic easily. Hey, hey, yo, <laughs> the violent proc was pretty good. I'm so used to her being on Swift on the other account. So the violent bill definitely, definitely felt pretty clean right there. And you know what's cleaner? If she can actually gain a buff in the next balance patch, that allow her to, to just gain an extra turn or a 100% attack bar after she buff her skill 3, I think that will make her very, very good. And, and that is something I look forward to. Like if she buffed this and she can do damage because that would justify... Oh my god! That would definitely justify her, her low damage output with a skill 2. Or, oh, oh, the... Did we miss a crit? We, we probably miss a crit right there. Ouch. Or if I stun them, then the Josephine gain a turn. Is that a good thing to do? I mean, I kind of want immunity. 
so not like she can do anything to me and we we keep the the molly at bay for a little bit right i'm not sure that, if that was a good idea <laughs> but i do want some protect oh shit oh okay 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 we, we're trying to kill the the last damage dealer on the enemy team okay good damage ayo no wait what do i do she violent pro earlier so which means she has the passive Hey, no, 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 no. You know what? It's getting worse and worse. Can I kill? Thank you very much. We should win here. So if they, if she get that extra turn, I think that would be really good. The same can apply to the Fire Cassandra who, who gained that, that invincibility thing. If she gains some attack bar like Garo, I think that would make her pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Oh, <laughs> Ragdoll. Oh, I want to know the feeling of owning a Ragdoll so bad. That'd be amazing. Wow, that, that felt clean. That felt like what a unit should be, you know? Because without the extra turn, I think she doesn't really provide a whole lot because in a cleave setup, not having attack by boost can hinder your, your usability by so much because building a team around you will be so hard without the attack by boost. But if you use her in a solo situation like this and she gained the extra turn with this, I think that will make her really, really good. She can be a self-sustained, self-contained damage dealer. And that is a wonderful thing. I like, I, I, I kind of like that, that feeling just now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good damage, good damage. Oh, a lot of bruiser up higher. A lot of blue, blue bruiser player. All right, let's 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 try out the Dark Ezio. So one thing I don't like about the Dark Ezio is that he can't be counter, but then he doesn't really have a way to quickly kill as well, I think. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. That's a lot of counter over there. And uh, what do we pick last here? I think Oblivion will be pretty good here. Oh my God, that crit rate. That crit rate is horrifying. We take away the cleanser. Is that a good play? I feel like killing... He's gonna... I'm gonna ban the Nana to try to one-shot, right? Oh god, that is kind of scary. I'm gonna ban Riley, okay? We're gonna ban Riley. We're gonna have speed lead. Like, if he can stun, I think... I think this guy will be amazing because he'll be a great answer to a lot of counter thingy because the, the easiest way to stop people from countering your ass is to stun them. But he doesn't have any stun whatsoever. So we're gonna do this. So no counter. Um, I'm gonna Oblivion you. I'm gonna Oblivion you. Oh, we can't really kill anyone, right? Yeah, that is quite a problem. Um, I mean, we can kill the monkey right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh my god, this is the worst thing possible. Oh, he double provoked me too. Okay, at least the Oblivion is still on. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Can I get a violent? Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is not looking- What? We lost. <laughs> Wait, how did I get stunned right there? What happened? Yep, we lost. <laughs> if we don't get the extra turn from Cassandra, the, the buff just doesn't feel- God, I I saw the build on Tessarian, I, I was just like, what is that crit rate? Never build anything on crit rate if you can't at least get like 75, 80% crit rate. Never build anything on crit damage, I mean. It's just not, you're wasting a rune right there, right? Like this 80% crit damage doesn't, doesn't really provide anything. <laughs> I'm not sure how to play with Cassandra properly. I mean, we have LD Nat 5 to carry us, and we still can't win. I think picking Dark Ezio is pretty much a liability on the team, right? He doesn't really do anything. We oblivion in him, but he could still take the damage. Oh, we don't have any damage on any element whatsoever. I think banning the Nana so we can get a quick kill will be the be best way possible. But the heal in between. I'm gonna ban the Nana, okay? We're banning the Nana, and hopefully we can we can go for the quick kill on the Vertihel. Oh, we, sh we just killed the Abelio. That, that could work too, right? So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna do some damage over here. That's the water. Oh, that is definitely enough for the Molong to kill. We're gonna put this up. And then... Hey, what the fu- Oh no, I hate this. Oh, at least he's gonna take a lot of turn and then we are perfectly protected. But still, God, I hate, I hate the speed tuning so bad. The best way to go Molong Wusa combo is to have is oh that is beautiful is to have molong and wusa speed to be very close to one another 
Oh my god, the Ignore Defense. I forgot that is a high defense unit, which means very low in draw HP. And that allows to get the quick snipe right there. All right, we won. Yay, I got my revenge. That's the same guy. This guy has faster despair rune than me. Okay, Zach, Zach, your despair rune is absolutely amazing. But the problem with this account is that there's like one good rune set and then the next one is just not as good. It's really hard to speed tune anything because one rune set is very, very good. And the next one in line is just not as good. Like, look at this shit. This is amazing speed, right? The same problem can be applied to violent. There are like three good ones. And then the quality just goes straight down at the fourth set. And then and then we have the tendency to build a unit the best way possible. So we would just search for the best rune. We apply on one of our favorite unit and we call it a day. But then... What we really should do, in my opinion, is to ruin things so that they kind of work together. Because if you have one unit that's really well ruined, and then the next one is really slow or not as well ruined, then it's really, really hard to use the, the other unit. And then you just wonder why to yourself, you have such good rune. Why is your rank not as good as your rune should be, kind of thing. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense, but I think that's what I feel in this account. Oh my god. And then my boy Zach is ruining way too many things. <laughs> He's ruining way too many things. So you get confused, your runes are everywhere, you're not focused on a core group of unit kind of thing. So it's just it's just kinda hard to to play, I must say. Oh god. Oh, this is kinda hard. Alright, but he doesn't have like a AoE strip at the start, so I think Oliver will not be going crazy on me and I could potentially stun Oliver. Wow, amazing. Nothing really happened. Oh, but my gear is on violent. <laughs> I think Despair Gyo is just way too good because she gained turn a lot. So having on Violent kind of, um, it's kind of meaningless, you know? Because she already gained a lot of turn all the time. So, so it's kind of strange not to be on Violent. I guess you could put more defense break and just do more damage in general. Oh my god, she's definitely dead. If I buff, it's actually bad. So I have to kill, right? But then, do I do enough damage? I don't know, but we shall try. Good damage? Do I buff now? God, do I? Do I? I'm gonna buff, okay? I'm gonna buff. Because Changfeng is moving in front of Oliver. I mean, not Oliver. In front of um, Bovirk, so we can push back his attack bar. And hopefully do something while he's down and, and hurt. Oh god, he's not down. Oh, he got the best! Why does he get the best buff? <laughs> Wait, this guy's on quadruple revenge. Oh no. What do I do here? Can I stun him? I stun the wind unit. <laughs> of all things, I stun the stupid wind unit. Um, defense break. We have defense ignoring damage soon. But Oh my god, I have I have to kill somebody. I think it's gonna be. It has to be. It has to be this guy. Because I, get, I will have to buff again in the future. So I have to kill the guy that stop it from buffing. Okay? At least we can reset the, the Wusa skill. So it's not as scary. I just see violent prop. Not yet. Can I get violent? Oh my god, he crit me. That's scary. He got glancing, glancing, you fool. Okay, now I can't die. For the moment. I can't die. For now. Oh no. Does he have anything? Oh my god. Oh, but I can't be killed. I'm gonna reset the Wusa skill. Two times. Was it? Kill this guy. No damage reduction. Boom. Oh, the damage. Not bad. Not bad. Ouch. Hey, yo. Defense break. Bruh. But it's okay. There's no way it's gonna 1v3. Right? Defense break. Good, 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 good. Get a violent. But it's okay. I think at this point, we were good to go. There's no way it's gonna do anything to me. Unless he... Oh my god. Unless he stun every single turn. But I would not allow that to happen. Ouch. Not happening today, buddy. Not happening today. Goodbye, my friend. Mm. I love it. I, I, I love the skill animation where she turned. She just whip out fucking lightsaber from her back. And it's like a light dagger, more like. And that was beautiful. You know what? Dominic's gonna benefit from Cassandra a lot. So we're gonna pick Dominic as well. The attack buff is pretty cool. Oh, that Praha looking kind of annoying. All right. Uh, we're going to bully them with Dark Robo too. So, let's ban Nana. So we can one-shot. God, but the Molong is so slow. Either the Riley or Praha is going to come in between. Like, this Molong has very good HP. Oh, the Molong is bad. But then, 
the speed. It's so slow. Even a non-speed lead Riley can now speed this Molom, and that is that is annoying. Okay, he he chose defense leader. We have ignored defense damage for days, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Oh, we don't have wheel runes. God damn it! All right, are we gonna kill anything? We're not gonna kill anything, right? I can silence them. Okay, and then we go for the kill. Attack buff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we chopped that holy berry in half clean. No defense break, please. Thank you very much. Oh, but we don't have attack buff anymore. That's going to suck. We need to have take away the, the attack buff right there. Oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Somebody's going to go down. Ow, 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 No, he gets so much attack buff. No. We drop, we drop it from a beast. We drop. Okay, we drop it from a beast. We get protected. No strip from the pro anymore. We just have to kill the Masha. And we're good to go. Okay, nothing's gonna happen. Thank you very much. And she can't damage me because of Pontos being very... I want Pontos so bad. Why is this unit so OP? Why is my light horse garbage? <laughs> we are both LD Nat 5 unit that can provide immunity. Why is my horse horse shit? And this, this guy is just like a giga chat. Look at him. He even has muscle. Oh no. Oh no. The muscle is exposed. Oh no. Oh no. That hurts so much. Damage. Okay. So soon when you have the ignore defense, we should be good. It's not gonna strip yet. It's waiting for my uh, for my buff. I'm gonna silence her. Silence. Can I get some attack bar? Where the hell is my attack bar? Is this Robo Max skill? I have a very strong doubt this Robo is not Max skill at all. Oh no, I need protection. I need attack bar first. And then, oh, the beautiful violent proc, let's go. Oh la la, that was beautiful. Wow, we're getting some some good Ws here. So this account I log in is started at Fighter 3. I am getting close to his best rank. I mean, his rank of Pontos. C3 is not a problem, right guys? This guy just doesn't play RTA. Oh crap, this is terrible. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. It's going to be terrible. I'm going to hate it. After having Ragdoll in my hand, I realized Ragdoll is not that good. <laughs> I think nowadays that the team nowadays, the unit nowadays make Ragdoll just not as good. I mean, he's nice to have. If you pick Ragdoll Leo like all the time and you can climb pretty far, up until a point, then he's not that good anymore. I, I feel, okay? That's just my feeling. Might be lame, might be nonsense, but th th this guy just doesn't feel as strong anymore. Any, any ragdoll user concur with that? I'm gonna do this on this guy. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully stop him a little bit. It doesn't stop him at all. We're gonna get stunned. I'm gonna be very sad. Good job, buddy. All right. But did I get a attack bar thing though? Did I get to move? Oh, this thing's gonna move. But who is she gonna stop? Don't kill Cassandra, don't kill Cassandra. Please don't kill Cassandra. Who? I can't even see. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. What do I do now, guys? What? I can't even... Oh, no. She can make no defense as well. Ouch. Um, Who do I... I think I need to kill her. She might be the... The one that's gonna destroy me. And this guy. Th this guy is just way too good against Ragdoll. Ragdoll does nothing against him. <laughs> and he does way too much damage. See? Great team. Good stuff. And we see Destiny as well. Destiny is just amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dark Cassandra and the Bruiser team. Pretty solid stuff, I gotta say. I liked it. Works really well with a turn two thingy like this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.